welcome to the Moodle Man blog. Uh, this is just a quick video podcast today to show you the new advanced uh, FLV filter that I've just put together today and released to uh, the open source community. Uh, it's a filter you can add to your own sites if need be, although unless you need this extra functionality, then, uh, functionality, then I'd recommend you just stay with the, uh, the basic filter. Uh, to use this new filter, first of all you add it to your filters folder. Um, installation of filters is pretty straightforward so I won't cover that in this video, but it will show you a couple of things you have to do first to make sure it will work in your install. Um, I'm logged into my uh, Playpen site here. First thing you have to do is go into Modules, Filters, Manage Filters, and you'll need to disable the FLV on the existing multimedia plugin. To do that, you just go to Multimedia Plugins and hit Settings, and you should have the tick removed from FLV filter. We don't want both of these filters running at once. Once you've done that, we'll go back to our Filters uh, Manage Filters area. If you've installed it correctly, you'll see the new FLV player filter added. Uh, to make it visible, you have to make sure that you have the, the uh, eye open. Uh, and again, what we have now with this new advanced version is a few uh, settings that we can change. Now, first of all, we've added a, 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 the ability to have the menu typically at the bottom of the screen. You can choose to have no menu at all, or maybe to have it hovering over the screen. And I'll show you that by setting this up now uh, for our over. We can have it so that the uh, FLV files auto start, auto play or not. Um, I'm going to set it to false for our first example. You can also set it to have a, uh, a video, uh, sorry, an image uh, showing uh, as a, uh, a placeholder for the video before it starts. And I've got a couple in here. So let's just go, let's uh, say show a, a clapper. You can also change the custom size. Look, I'm going to leave these the same and hit save changes. And as I say in the classics, here's something I've set up earlier. If I now hit refresh, the filter settings will automatically go into effect and we'll see this all change. So what we're seeing now is that clapper background picture. We're seeing that rather than being at the bottom here, the menu is hovering in the middle. What I like about this is as I hit play, you see that the menu disappears and only reappears when I hover back over the video. That's the advantage of over. It will disappear when the uh, mouse is not there and it's playing. Now again, the benefit of a filter is at the moment I change these settings again, we'll see it go live. Let's go settings. This time we'll say um, no menu at all and auto start true with no background. Save changes. The moment I go back and refresh this screen, we'll start seeing those settings take effect. So there we are. I re refresh and the video is now playing right off the bat with no menu at all. And yeah, we can mix and match those options as you see fit. So the last thing I'll show you is, let's just say, um, let's put the menu at the bottom. Um, we'll have a display of film grain, auto start false. And this time though, I'm going to make it widescreen. So let's say it's going to be uh, 225 high. Save changes. And again, the moment I hit refresh on the screen, that filter settings will take effect and it's now gone to a widescreen format. So look, that's it. That's the uh, new advanced FLV filter. As I said, look, if you don't have a need for that extra functionality, then obviously you can stay with the one that's built into the core. But if you do want to have the ability to be able to resize easily, add uh, those uh, welcoming images, or to be able to have the menus disappear, then this filter might be right for you. The last thing I do want to point out that one feature that I could never get working in the original one built into Moodle was the full screen feature, and that does work here now.